Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something very, very interesting as usual. We are going to see how you can uh, modify the fields of an attribute table. On our last video, we showed you some things on how to create a web map, and then um, the link to that video is on the description section of this video. You can actually check it out. So, let's say you have an attribute table like this, which was actually um, extracted from OpenStreetMap, right? Or maybe some other attribute table you have, and then you can see that um, the fields that um, were used to create the table are not something you want. You know, you can actually decide to start the toggle editing and then maybe try to delete a particular field sorry delete a particular field however if you don't want to delete the field and you just want to maybe make some modifications on the title or something you know you want to change instead of maybe leaving it as um, osm underscore id or maybe f class or name you want to change it to something more relatable or something more understandable that um, the user can actually um, have a better interpretation of uh, so good that's what we are going to show you how to do on this video however deleting is very simple you can just um, start the top editing and then you just decide to delete it maybe the other tool we want to show to you you can actually still delete from that point again so thanks for coming to class if you're a returning viewer thanks for always um, checking up on us and if you're a new viewer you can encourage us by subscribing so let's say you have the different layers. You can see them here. Yeah, they were actually extracted from OSM. So you right click and then you come towards the open attribute table. Sorry, you come to properties this time around. Good. Now under properties, we can come to fields, right? Good fields. Now before you do anything, you need to start the toggle editing mode, but that's what allows you to carry out any form of editing on the attribute table, right? Good. So now we have seen the ID, we've seen the name, this is how the, this is just the different fields we have seen on our attribute, right? And they are, let's say, their properties, let's use that, their properties. So the type of this OSM ID string, the type of data type, rather, the data type of the code is an integer, the data type of the F class is a string, and the data type of name is also a string. Then the length, that's about the maximum it can contain in that uh, particular field or there about is about 10 4 and um, 28 and then 100 or so right good so now let's say this osm id is not something you need you don't also need code you don't need f class but let's say you need them however you don't like the way they have been maybe displayed or something so what do you do you can just um, double click on it so instead of calling it um, osm id let's just call it um let's just modify it to something like um, building number or something then let's say or let's say let's call this building name this is just for the purpose of demonstration right so let's just call this building name let's call this um let's call this um building number let's call this building number then let's just say this is a um, name of street right so instead of name let's call this uh, name of street right name of uh, street then um, instead of the class let's just call it um, let's say building type no it's not something that um, you should um, bother yourself about what we are calling it now depending on what you want to do all we are trying to show to you now is that this is something you can do right good so when you now modify it like this here still having the same um, data type um, type name length the precision address of course when you're creating a um, vector data from um, digitizing right good you can still set some of these things up however when it has been set up and sent to you as a ship file or any other vector data format which you want to edit which most times is actually a ship file this is how you go about it so we've actually modified that our osm id i think um, the code and f class and name to something like this now let's see how it goes so since we've done this and we are still comfortable with the data type, the type name, the length, precision, and rest of that, let's just see um, apply. Then we stop the editing by saving, right? So when you click on that um, stop the toggle editing, you can actually save. Then okay, let's still apply again. 
apply and then we say okay right good so upon doing that we can still come back we can now come back to our open attribute table to see what we've done now let's assume that um, um, this is the attribute table we want to work with maybe the attribute table you have that you are trying to modify or something you want to work with we believe this is a more presentable or let's say this gives a better um, description of what you want you know we have the building name we have the building number we have the building type and then we have the name of street or so right good we have one two three four five six seven eight okay we have the name of street right good so when you see it like this maybe when you work with this as the attribute table it's um, more presentable than the way you would have seen it earlier as what the osm id the f class and other stuff so this is actually the essence of this video showing you how you can do it, how you can actually edit or let's say modify some of the fields on your what on your attribute table using what this um, fields tool under what the layer properties right good so um if you have any question if you have any contribution that um, you want us to look at maybe you want us to consider you can actually contact us via the comment section or you can send us a mail via any of our contact details and we'll get back to you and ensure to buy us a coffee there is a link on the description section of this video and also on the channel description where you can you know help us to get a coffee so we are going to see you on our next video we hope we provided solution to this particular gis or solving problem and ensure you have the best of time bye